Greetings and welcome back to Idle Miner Tycoon. All right, we have a new event mine, the Zoo Mine. And look at the lion there. Doesn't he look cute? All lions look cute, especially if they haven't been fed for long periods of time. Of course, the Zoo Mine will be the last opportunity to get season points for the Fantasy Season event, which ends eight hours after the Zoo Mine. So let's see what attractions the Zoo Mine has for us. All right, open up mine shaft number one. You get a participation badge because you didn't really do anything but press a button. All right, opening up mine shaft number five will get you some super cash and season points. Opening mine shaft number ten will get you a ten times income for five minutes. Very precious indeed. And of course, some season points. Opening up mine shaft number fifteen will get you the bronze sue badge, as well as a ten times income for ten minutes and some more season points. A lot of season points because you did earn a badge that time. Opening mine shaft 20 will get you a 20 times income for 10 minutes, super cash, and more season points. Opening mine shaft number 25 will get you a dawn research point, super cash, and more season points. Opening mine shaft number 30 will get you a 2 times income for 4 hours, a dawn research point, more super cash, and more season points. Then we start leveling the mines. Leveling mineshaft number 16 to level 500 will get you the silver zoo badge. It'll also get you a two times income for eight hours, a dawn research point, some more super cash, and a lot of season points. After all, you did get a badge there, now didn't you? Leveling mineshaft number 20 to 600 will get you a two times income for 12 hours, a dawn research point, a rare chest, and 80 super cash, as well as some more season points. Leveling mineshaft number 25 to 700 will get you a five times income for an hour, a dawn research point, two rare chests, super cash, and more season points. And of course, if you level everything to maximum level, that being all the mineshafts to 800, the elevator and the warehouse to 2400, you will get the gold zoo badge, as well as five green research points, a final dawn research point, an epic chest, and 200 super cash. And by the way, this will be a 530 super cash mine if you complete the entire thing. You'll also get a whole bunch of extra season points. Now, if you do all that in a day and a half from the time you open it up, you will also get the elite zoo badge, which will get you an extra 80 season points for getting all those things at the bottom, of course, of the fantasy season event. So let's go. Because I haven't been to the zoo for a while. Okay, I was really counting on him having some kind of Zulin animals on him. Maybe cradling a nice lion. You know, before it had lunch. Okay, so what kind of animals we have here? Oh, we got an elk. We got some monkey here because he's trying to get his scape going here. Some uh, flamingos. A flamingo's here. I don't see the lion. Maybe he's hiding in wait. Anyway, before we do this... We boost the mine. It makes things so much easier for these events. I watched the video boost down at the bottom, and I use one of my two times Inca for an hour. So you can see on top of the warehouse, we have a times 5.72, which means all of the goods that will go in there will be multiplied by that number and will progress a lot faster. All right, so let's go. Because we need these slackers to get us started. And we'll get managers. If we get mineshaft number one to five, to level five that is, we'll be able to get the manager so we don't have to click on them anymore. I like to send him over twice before bringing the elevator down. That way I know I can get it to level 10. Level 10 means we will have access to uh, mineshaft number two. So all of this will happen at once, of course. Until then, we have to click on the slackers, because otherwise... Yeah, they'll just, like, stand there and do nothing. All right, there we go. So let's just add 10 to get this to 11. That gives us everything we want. And you can see we can already open up mine shaft number two. Uh, get to work, get to work, get to work, get to work. All right, so let's get a manager in there. And then let's get a manager in here, running the elevator. And then a manager into the warehouse. All right, and then let's get one for here. And then immediately replace it because it's an upgrade cost reduction, right? A discount. I like discounts. I like to hold on to them and use them for rainy days. All right, so let's see. What do we got going here? We got a pile forming there in mineshaft number two. 
And I don't think he's going to... No, he's not. All right, so what we need to do is we need to level up the elevator to bring more of that stuff up. Fortunately, we have a uh, discount waiting over here. So I'm just going to do max. I'm going to get that up to 20. So he just grabbed it all. No problem whatsoever. All right, now you run. You run really fast. But that's not going to be enough. We're going to have to add some levels to that too. Otherwise, he's not going to carry it all. In that case, you can see he did carry it all. All right, let's do the elevator again. Yes, I am focusing on making it so the elevator and the warehouse can handle large amounts of traffic here. Hold on a minute. Okay, uh, a little bit more there. All right, the running is very good. Uh, it will compensate for a little bit of the leveling difference here, but I would rather just have them as close as possible. All right, and I'm willing to bet, yep, yep, mineshaft number three, because we're doing so much money here, right? All right, so let's get that going. By the way, make him run, make him run, make him mine. Make them mine, I should say. All right, I only have uh, 28 seconds over here. I would like some more. Okay, got that up to 48. That'll do. That'll definitely do for now. Now I would like to boost the... Um, yeah, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. All right, so that's up to 40. That should do for now. We're, we're good to go up here. So oh, we can open up mineshaft number four. If the money flows, the money comes, right? And we're going to put that... And we're immediately going to replace it because we know where, where that guy's going. He's going into mineshaft number 10, isn't he? By the way, mine. All right, so now we need 1.49 million, and I have a feeling we're not going to be waiting. No, we're not going to wait long at all. All right, so there is mineshaft number five open, and let's throw a manager in there, and she's going to make this guy mine really hard. All right, so I got ones. I don't care. I don't want anything but ones there. All right, but the big thing, of course, is can the elevator carry all those millions? Ten million? Okay, no problem. It is a little bit there at the bottom, so... All right, we need 23.4 million, and given what we just brought up, that shouldn't be a problem, right? Because now we have 77 million. So we're going to start removing this banner, and we're going to stand here for an hour and four minutes waiting. No, we're not. We could watch a couple of videos. No, we're not going to do that. I am going to make the ultimate sacrifice, and I'm going to spend super cash. It's painful. Very painful. But we must go on. And as you can see, Mineshaft number six is now available. Yeah, if the money flows, it's good. Very, very good. All right, and we're going to take that one out. And the next one is going to be a senior, actually. Now we might be running into a bottleneck because I don't think the elevator is going to be able to handle that kind of millions. 776, and you didn't take very much at all. All right, so we're going back up here because we have to do something about the elevator, right? Uh, we're not getting this one back for a while, this discount, but fortunately, there is another junior that is not far away. So we're just going to hire until that junior shows up, and there she is. All right, so we're going to activate her, and I'm going to say max. All right, so it's up to 100. So 121 million is coming up now. No problem whatsoever. All right, we got billions down here. Can you take the billions? You can take the billions and lots of room. Okay, so that's good. We're not going to have any money problems for a while. All right, I kind of like the running thing, so I am just going to do this without a discount. It's up to 94. That should do for now. All right, so let's go back down here because I need one point. I didn't even get a chance to say it. All right, so that's... And the next one is now available too. We have lots of billions, don't we? All right, so this is going to be a senior, and I am going to hire someone else because I like to have them handy. All right, let's throw another one in here. And by the way, run, run, run. Everybody runs. All right, so let's see. That's a lot of billions. Are you taking that? No, you're not. Okay, do I have any time left over here? Yes, I do. All right, so let's see. I can add 28 to that. That's good. I would like to add more. Okay, carry it over quickly because I got 15 seconds here. Drop it quickly, please. Thank you. All right, that will do for now. I'd like an extra five, but that will do for now. All right, so now this one over here in the warehouse who was making them run, that's now done. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a discount over here, and there it is. All right, drop all that money off because I need to boost this one. All right, so we're going to boost the warehouse over here with everything they got. All right, that's good. That's good. Let's take a look at the overview. 
The mine shafts are producing about six and a half billion. They can handle 90 billion and 105 billion. So we're going back down. Oh, and look, mine shaft number nine is now available. Wasn't that nice of it? All right, so let's hire somebody who is going to make this fellow dig much harder. And we have mine shaft number 10 available, don't we? Yes, we do. All right, so let's, for now, throw this individual here, and he's going to make them run. All right, let's take a look at the overview now. Okay, so at the moment, the mine shafts are doing 434 billion per second. They can't handle that. It's pointing right here as the first bottleneck, but let's face it, they're both bottlenecks. So let's take care of the elevator. Oops, this one ran out. Is the other one available yet? It will be in a few seconds, a couple of seconds, actually right about now. All right, so let's boost that one with everything we got. Okay, that had a nice little boost in there too. Okay, so the elevator can now handle four and a third trillion. Okay, we're about to lose this one here, so please dump all your money right now. Dump it, please. All of it, thank you. All right, and we're now up to 189 over here, so that's very good. And I think that's... Yeah, yeah, that's good. All right, as a matter of fact, I actually feel like boosting this one again. I like them to be close to each other. I think I overshot a bit. Yeah, okay, well, unfortunately, I lost a discount here. All right, so let's look at the situation now. Oh, and we can start removing this barrier, and that's all I'm doing. I'm going to let Father Time take care of this. All right, so the elevator and the warehouse are now handling all the traffic from the mine shafts. And you can see on the upper left that the mine is now doing 173 billion per second. That's all of the first 10 mine shafts open. I want them to make a lot more money. The way I do these event mines is I go to the deepest one I can get to, and I boost that one, and then I boost the elevator and the warehouse to handle the money that's coming up. Because it's easy to generate money, but you have to handle it. Otherwise, it's all going to pile up on the bottom, and that's not going to help anybody. Notice he just grabs all of that. That's because they have a big head start. We're about to change that. So I am going to take this fellow right here, the executive, because he gives me the best discount for the individual mine shafts that I have. So we're going to activate him, and then we're going to have him add 35 to that one. All right, so let's look at this. Okay, so the mine shafts are now doing 23.7 trillion per second, which they cannot handle. So we're going back up. All right, so let's throw in the others. Okay, this one's not going to be ready for 42 seconds, which is a problem. How about you? You know what it is? I don't have another one here, so I need to summon the other one. All right, we're going to do that. The problem is, I believe my bottleneck... Oh, actually, the warehouse is the bottleneck at the moment. All right, why don't we do the warehouse first? Because that way we can wait. All right, boom. Grab all of that. All right, so that is 207. I think I can actually add more to that. Yeah, we'll just add more to that. All right, so now the um, warehouse can handle 631 trillion per second. Uh, the bottleneck is now the elevator, right? And in about five seconds, I'm going to do something about that, which is good because we're going to get some more money here, right? Oh, there we go. There we go. And now we're just going to say max, and that one is now level 238. And, okay, that's handling AA which is actually quadrillions. AB is quintillions, if you get the idea. They don't want to deal with Qs and Ss and such like that, right? Okay, so now the mine is doing 13 and a half trillion per second, and we can go back down here. So let's see, let's get that over 50 for a nice boost. All right, so that's doing 344 trillion now. And we're catching up on the warehouse. Do we have that discount up there? Okay, you know what? I'm going to boost the warehouse now because I'm about to lose this one in 14 seconds. All right, so how are you doing now? Okay, you can both do AA. Very good. And, you know, the same thing. I'm about to lose the discount over here. So I'm going to boost the elevator also. Actually, that was a lot more for the elevator. Yeah, unfortunately, I lost the discount over here. All right, well, you know what? We'll get back to that because we're going to do some boosting down here. Have an extra 12. Okay, we're up to level 71. And the mines are now doing 1.83 AA per second. We're catching up on the uh, warehouse, though, but not yet. All right, I'd like to get to 100. That will really boost it. What I'd really like, and I'll be happy with, if I can get deep into AB for the idle cache in the upper left, I'll be very happy with that. 
Oh, 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 that was a little bit more. A little bit more jumped in there. Okay, we're up to 83 now. All right, the mine shafts are doing very nearly 6.5 AA. Elevator, no problem. Warehouse, a problem. That, of course, means there's going to be a pile forming on top of the elevator. You can already see there's a pile sitting on top of the elevator. It's 38 AA, and I don't think that they're going to be taking that. Nope, 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 nope. The pile is growing faster than they can deal with. All right, so let's get the other one who is now ready. Let's activate her, and then we're going to do that. All right, so let's see how that's... Okay, so the warehouse can now handle 232 AA. Actually, I would really like to do something about the elevator, but I have to wait a little while. But I think we're good to go for now. Yes, we are, because it can handle that. All right, so let's go down here. Can we get to... Oh, we're so close to 100. So close. It'd be a nice little boost when we get there. Three more. All right, so let's see. We're nearly overrunning the elevator. But we're still here. We're doing 26.2. The elevator can handle 32.1. But I have a feeling that just changed, right? Because we got a nice little boost at 100. Right. The mines are now doing 84.5 AA, which means the elevator cannot handle the flow of money. All right. See, now they just drop some more. They're going to drop a little bit more there, and it's going to run behind. So we have to do something about the elevator. Fortunately, our little discount is waiting for us here. So, have some more, and we got a nice boost there. And I see we're about to lose this one here. I would like to boost this one as well. All right, this is good. So, the elevator can handle 2.73 AB per second. The warehouse can handle 1.66. Can I get a little bit more there, please? Like I said, I like them to be close to each other. And they're closer now. The warehouse can handle 3.43 AB. This is good, which means we're going back down here. And I see two arrows. Two arrows means that we can do more than 10, but less than 50. It's 15. All right, so we're doing 115. All right, so the mine shafts are still doing AA. They can handle AB. So we have uh, the opportunity for more increases. Where's my money? Okay, you brought the money over. It multiplied. Is that all you got? One arrow? It's only two. We're going to have to do better than that, guys. Where's that money? Multiply that money. All right, so what do we got? I still only have one arrow. That's not acceptable. How are we doing? Okay, we're doing uh, 1.39 AB now in the mine shafts. We're catching up on the other two. All right, so how do you got? You got seven more. That's going to probably overflow them. We're now overrunning the elevator, but we are doing 1.56 AB for the entire mine now, as you can see. All right, let's see. I'm not going to get this one back for a while. I'm just going to do it without a discount because, because we're nearly done. All right, let's see. All right, the elevator can handle 18.4, not a problem. All right, uh, what about you guys? Okay, the same thing. We're not going to get that one back for a while, so I'm just going to do the same thing. No discount. I do have super managers who have the best discounts for the elevator and the warehouse, but you may not have them, so that's the reason I'm not using them. Okay, they're both 18. That is awesome. Like I said, I'd like them to be close to each other. So we're just going to do that. 140. And you know what? We're nearly at a good point here. Okay, 144. Uh-oh. I just overran both of them. Yes, I did. I don't like that. I don't like leaving them like that. So let's fix this. All right, I'm going to do this without a discount because time is a wasting. All right, the elevator is doing 47.5 AB per second. Very nice. And then we're going to activate you. Wait till all that money gets dropped. And then we're going to activate that. And then you're now doing 82.6. So I think we can get one more little increase down here. And then we will have a nice amount of money flowing. All right, what do we got? I got two arrows. So let's just 10. So there we go. And we are now, uh-oh. Elevator problem. Elevator problem. All right, activate. Drop that money. Drop that money. Okay, the elevator is quite capable of handling the situation. But we're borderline with the warehouse. So, you know, I think I'm going to end it there. Because we're now doing 46.7 AB per second. And you know what? That's going to make us a lot of money. So, in an hour and 20 minutes, when this barrier is ready to go away all by itself... I am going to have enough money gathered idly that I can just take 
buy out the next five and then start working on the next barrier. And actually, by the time that's done, I will probably have enough money to get the next five and the next barrier. That's assuming that I monkey with uh, Mineshaft 15 a little bit. And of course, balance out the warehouse and the elevator to be able to handle it. The goal is to get all the way down to Mineshaft number 30, the lowest one, and use that to make money for the mine. You boost that one, you make sure the elevator and the warehouse can handle it, and eventually you'll have so much money that you'll be able to just max out the mines going down. If you try to do it from the top down, it will never work. You'll never be able to generate the money to max them out. Believe me, I've tried. That used to work. It doesn't work anymore. Right now, the best way to do it is go all the way as deep as you can, just like I did here. I made a whole bunch of money just by boosting this. Remember when it was 173 billion per second? Well, now it's a lot more than that. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So maybe later in a week, we'll start working on level 34 of the mainland. Maybe we'll be doing that. Anyway, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.